Hi guys, Jamie again from Taylor Walsh. I hope you're well. And today we're joined by Mr. Steve Dryden Hall from WAC. WAC. How are you doing, Jamie? Good, mate. How are you? Yeah, really well, buddy. We've uh, got a few projects on, so we're busy. Obviously, you can see my shades on my head, so uh, it's not all work, but at WAC, we're very creative, so we need some creative time too. Absolutely, absolutely. You guys do ph phenomenal stuff, mate. Um, and the main reason I wanted to try and get you on the channel, really, was just to touch base on, uh, obviously, the current situation. Most people are yes. at home or working from home or doing what they can. And uh, like myself, a lot of business owners and a lot of people I've been speaking to have had a chance to reflect now on their their business itself. And um, have actually got a bit more time now to kind of do things that they wanted to do for a while, like uh, rebranding or sorting their website or, you know, bits and pieces like that. So... Are you guys busy with doing that at the moment? Are you doing lots of kind of... Um... I, I don't know if you can hear, the phone's still ringing, Jamie. It's still <laughs> yeah. ringing, so we'll wait for to pick that up. But, you know, we're, we're busy. I think it's, um, it's a time for reflection in terms of our own business. And what we're finding at the moment is there's a great opportunity as an agency and for your own business to, if you're thinking about a rebrand, to kind of do it now. And I suppose it's one of those where we're too busy to look at our own business because we're helping other people um, yeah, in their yeah. business. So, um, yeah, it's good for us. I mean, we, you know, we've got lots of experience and um, I suppose social media is the biggest growth at the moment and rebrands on websites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, as, yeah, as you mentioned before as well, you know, the, even the little piece you've got behind you, um, Whack Whack designed that and that's... Right. Yeah, that's it. It's, it's about standing out. And if you look at a lot of people working from home, it, it kind of shows people personality at their house. Yeah, and, uh, you don't really see that in business, and I think there's some good coming out of all this as well. Yeah, totally. I, I don't disagree at all, and I think there'll be a lot of people will be looking at uh, reshuffling their businesses' models on how they work and what they can do to work from home more now going forward. Um, yes. I've spoken to a lot of people in the last few weeks where they've said, "Actually, I'm quite enjoying working from home," or "Actually, we can do our meetings like this now rather than everyone having to get together on a Friday or something where they predominantly yeah. don't need to." Um, so I think there'll be a lot of opportunities for people to rebrand and reshuffle and redo bits and pieces or add bits to their website about how this is affecting them currently or what they've changed since this situation. And yeah. is there any advice you can give to anybody about um, how to how to start doing that? I mean, is the is the key thing just to contact We Are Creative, for instance, give Whack a shout and just say, "Help me! I need to rebrand. Where do I start?" Or have you got something um, like a blog that you guys are able to do, or you've done, or something that show people what they need to do um, just to stay current in this time rather than sitting on their hands not doing anything? You know? I, I think the key, the key is, and we share a few uh, mutual business um, friends and friends out in there in, in where we live and where we do business. And yeah. I suppose we have a, a print business too. And um, I suppose if you've got a box of leaflets and they're sat under your desk, no one is seeing your leaflet. Yeah. And it's the same with social media. You might have all the creative ideas or they, you can't quite make them look good enough. But here at WAC, we, we sit with you in, you know, or on the phone or on, on the video call as it is at the moment and make those sort of thoughts reality and, and show real good visuals. And I suppose if you're not talking on social, you're thinking about someone else's business. Yeah. And so it's about having messages that are uh, intriguing, uh, if not fun, showing a bit of your personality at your, at your house. And, you know, not everyone can do business right now. Yeah. But when we start doing it again, and mainly our clients, um, the ones that have not stopped but reset, it's having that stuff on social media that can get your message across, whether it be fun or whether it just be informative. And I, I think there's a great opportunity to do that. And a lot of our clients are doing that. Yeah, definitely. I think you've hit the nail on the head. Now is the time to kind of get everything ready blog wise and stuff going forward so i was speaking to someone last week and in fact i told them to give you a shout and they were saying that they get bogged down on day to day updating all their social as the year goes on so having a, a blog ready for you know like halloween for instance or valentine's day or christmas or new year or something and what's stopping them from writing those blogs now then all they've got to do is hit the button when the time comes or they could kind of let you guys know what they want in a blog pass it to you and say this is what my vision is. Can you polish it, make it look good, stick some visuals behind it yeah. uh, and then give it back to me ready to go. And you guys are perfect to do that. And now's probably a great time to implement those procedures, isn't it? 
Yeah, and Jamie, it's, and and it's not just the blogging part of it as well. It's it's the the stuff behind the social media um, as well. If you if you look at, um, I think more people are watching TV right now, but even between adverts on YouTube, you know, on the television, even the radio, there's the whole support the NHS. Yeah. Um, and it's coming from the supermarkets. It's coming from these marketing teams that are changing rapidly because that wasn't in their marketing plan at the end of t- uh, 2019. Um, you right. know, they've evolved their, their marketing plan. And here at WAC, we're the same. We've, you, we've, got, we've got a client that's really huge in Milton Keynes and we've had a six month plan laid out for them. And four weeks ago, not one part of it will be done We've because we've changed their plan. You know, yeah. they want to support local groups in Milton Keynes and Bucks and Northampton. They've got a place in Wellingborough. Um, and it's about helping and community and being part of that. And I suppose that it should be part of business. Anyway, I know, I know Taylor Walsh is very good at that too. I've seen you guys at uh, the Milton Keynes Food Festival. Yeah, but yeah. sometimes it's not just doing the service that you do as a living. It's, it's preparing and, and being flexible within your social and the blogging. The blogs that you, you suggest... They might be irrelevant that we've written maybe a month ago, but the key is if you've got a plan, we're what we're looking at now. So it's April now. I can't even think about what month it is. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no, no. May, June, July. What's the plan? What's going to do? This client in particular was all about um, supporting local events. Now, as you know, ninety-five percent of all local events aren't happening. So right. we've almost ripped it up. Um, but we're there. We're thinking. We're creative, and we're plan- planning differently for them fantastic yeah and you're right we're the same all the blogs and things we had ready to go complete waste now because there's no point in shouting from the rooftops you know we sell houses we sell houses we sell houses because everyone knows we do that but right now we can't be knocking on people's doors going in having a coffee with them sitting down walking around it's everything's changed for us yeah Um, and right now it's about implementing those things like you say community orientated things like that and um, having a plan going forward so um Again, I think you've, you've hit the nail on the head. It's, it's about doing those bits and pieces now. And a lot of people won't be confident enough to know how to do that or have the um, ability for you to be able to do that. So that's something yeah. that I can help with, isn't it? In actually implementing it to, and getting it through to it's we've done it. It's happened. Yeah, of course. It's reality. I want to speak about a couple of examples. And they're not particularly clients of ours, but we know them in business. We've seen them flourish as a business. So okay. the two that I have in mind is Nonna's over in Woven Sands. So yeah, yeah. We know yeah. Damon and Amanda have um, lots of traction. Their social media is epic. We, yeah. we do actually quite a lot of stuff um, supporting them guys too anyway. But they've turned their restaurant into a shop. And yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah they're doing really well. And it lets them carry on their business and reflect and see what's going to happen in the future. And then you've got Wooden Hill Coffee who are over at Amped Hill. Yeah. And they sell, they sell to coffee shops independently. Um, and where Robin um, has changed his model very quickly is he now opened um, a online shop and he's now rather than business to business is business to consumer and he's okay. arguably doing better and doing uh, more sales in a different environment and, and the key to that was always the social media part we speak yeah. every week and he's like you know what should we do we say you should do that he's got his own ideas and he makes them reality really but people at home want really good coffee and, and they're, they're getting their coffee and i suppose you can sit at home and do all your, your work or you can really look at your business and just reflect on what are our services and what can help people now because at the end of the day it's, it, it's a service game isn't it it's help yeah, someone totally. do do what they do and do do it well and it's the same for your industry as well isn't it yeah definitely yeah i think um right now you've got to be making the most of it and it's great to hear that those businesses are doing well i mean nonas i love nonas we go there quite a lot um yeah. and i've seen what they did with changing their restaurant to a shop and things and i know a lot of people that live locally to them and pop in there all the time and uh, i think it's phenomenal that they've done that thinking outside the box just to make it yeah. work right now and you have to, don't you? yeah totally yeah totally mate so um so we are creative. How long has we are creative now been going for, and what's happened there in the last, say, twelve months that um, you want to shout about? Yeah, so um, we we had a print shop, which we still do on the high street in New Pegg, called the Print Shop, and um, led by graphic designers, web designers in the background. And what we were finding is graphic designers and designers and printers were we could help people with social, we can do their websites, we can build websites. Um, and, and do launch um, product launches and, and business launches. And I suppose WAX come together um, at the start of last year. 
WAC stands for we are creative. Um, and sometimes when we have a brain freeze ourselves, we're like, we can't be creative. So we, we try and do cool stuff. So you've probably seen Jamie, our, our networking that we do. Um, yeah, yeah. And that's very much to show people as a business, it's not all about work. It's about building relationships, getting yeah. to know people. Uh, we've been to Aqua Parks and Willow Lake. So we know Kieran and Joe now who own that. They're expanding across the UK. First one in Milton Keynes. And uh, getting in a wetsuit, going on a, an inflatable bounce cast, if you like. Yeah, yeah. Um, business networking. Um, I was swimming past five people in a circle bobbing along saying what do you do for a living what do you do for a business and that is breaking the ice straight away and so we pride ourselves uh, as an agency we don't we're a business we are an agency but we pride ourselves in just being different and and having fun first and we know that if we can build someone's website yeah or they're looking for a rebrand on their website for example if we're in their top three choices just to talk to then we're doing our, our, our networking right and our social media. Um, we do look at other agencies in terms of what they do and, and how and we feel well, we're, we're a lot different. We do a lot more activity because we, we pride ourselves in all the guys from Milton Keynes. I mean, I've been in Milton Keynes since uh, 1980. I know, Jamie. I know. <laughs> uh, so I know a lot of people anyway, but I made it a bit of a mission 18 months ago to, to know a lot more people in business and, you know, with WAC, we, we try and we try and get to know the people and connect them first. Yeah. Because if I can get you a household, then you're going to want to help me. And mm -hmm. if you can get me a, a logo design as, as a, a, a client and recommend us, that's how it works for us. And it's a bit of a buzz, really. And I suppose my background is marketing. And so it's, okay. all, always, it's always been about campaigns. And we love working on campaigns. Yeah. And the variety as well. So in terms of industries, we, we, you know, we look after estate agents, property developers. We run the Milton Keynes Food and Leisure Awards. Um, we've created um, charities from scratch to help them go from A to B and make them look good and professional. So when they yeah. go into the local hospitals, they look the part as well as the actual um, big brands that are out there already. Um, it's loads of cool stuff that we like to do. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm a huge... Um advocate of you guys anyway i mean i use you personally and um, I, I i've got quite a few people i know that use you as well and i think you do exactly what you say on the tin um and you hit the nail on the head again by saying you guys you you know when you, every time you visit the offices there you're always high spirited you're always having fun you're always busy it's buoyant the phone's always ringing as you can tell now i mean it's, yeah. um you know it, it's, it's a good place to be and you're a nice people to be with and um, i like the way that you think outside the box and bring ideas to you and you kind of flip it on its head a little bit and say what about this and you go actually I never thought of that but i prefer it well, um, I think that's like key, how creative you all are yeah yeah i suppose we have to because it's in our title you yeah. know if, if, if we didn't i think the, the key is and you've given us some really nice compliments there and that that's the key isn't it it's the recommendation if you can recommend anyone whether yeah. it's personal or business that is key and i suppose once the job is done whether it be a logo a website looking after social media do you recommend and it's, it's very clear yes or no yes. If it's a no you don't get that chance really hardly ever again and if it's a yes then the circle of business and, and contacts and people grow and you know i love my job and my job and i say to my children they say, like what does daddy do and my job's talking yeah you know? but talking has to come out into a product and a service that another business needs to, for them to make money and for them to enjoy what they do and if you can't if we don't do that then we're failing anyway yeah, 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 yeah. But it's very enjoyable. Um, we've got eight staff, um, very creative people, web designers, graphic designers, people that just think how maybe I won't think um, for businesses as well. And, you know, if you've got 30 businesses in Milton Keynes that are doing the same as you, how do you stand out? Yeah, if yeah. If you can stand out, then you will get more opportunities in business. So that's where we sit. Absolutely, absolutely. So, if anyone wants to give you guys a shout now, you're still taking um, calls, obviously, um, email, things like that, and you're still able yeah. to deal with inquiries. Um, I mean, I urge anyone that has got a business that they're looking to do a rebrand or you know logo design or anything to get in touch with you guys over at WAC. Um, yeah, definitely, and we'll assist the company for print as well. I mean, print's gone really mad because obviously people have to send out different messages. You've seen uh, stores out there that have got you know stay two meters away. They're still print opportunities and, and and even um just the whole social part is huge because obviously you don't need to leave your house to do that it can all be done on video it can all be planned yeah. the plans will change i mean that's business anyway like a business plan it will change 
throughout the year and you, you've got to sort of jump on that wave to get to the next piece but um that's basically what we're doing and, and helping other companies still survive and flourish as well so some are, some are surviving waiting and, and others are yeah. flourishing and they see the opportunities different and you know we're trying to help them get there as well that's fantastic that really really is good mate it really is good so um is there anybody in milton kings at the moment that you've been um speaking to recently that has kind of taken you up on anything that you're doing currently like um rebrands or anything have you seen much of that at the moment anybody saying actually i've, I've had this on the cards for a while or do you think people are kind of laying low at the minute just thinking we need to get this kind of over and done with and then we'll do it is that the wrong way to do it or no we've got um we've got et electrics uh, so elliot over there he's um um plumbing and heating he's okay. rebranded right now because he's like oh this is the time i need to do it i've been thinking about it for yeah. months we're going to go ahead. Um, you've got people at like Owls Pals who've got their charity and, you know, they're always evolving their idea I and mean, they're not stopping. They okay. want to community more. So stuff like that. Skyline Taxis, yeah. you know, it's all about the community. Uh, we work really closely with them and have done for years. And uh, the key for those guys are how can they help in the community? So big names at the moment um, and probably have been for a good year is Shane Clark and his brother Aaron, um, Brother Supper um where Aaron and his brother have changed things they're really helping uh, the NHL S and um, over 65 um, and, and on a Monday and a Thursday they they cook food um, oh. and Skyline pick up the food and they deliver it to people in need well that's nice I love it's it, because yeah. they want to do it and they love it and you know Skyline are they've been in Milk Mil Kings for years and years yeah, I remember yeah. Ali Ali's the owner he's he, he's uh him and his family run Skyline and they're forever growing and they're not just a taxi company. They, they, they really do want to help. So, you know, we're, we're fully loaded with them. And then you, I don't know if you've heard them yet, Jamie, if you're in the know normally, uh, Fierce Gyms is opening in Wolverton. Have you seen that? Yes. Yeah. Paul and Jess. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so Paul yeah. and Jess. So they had that plan in, in their minds. And um, so we're helping them. Um, we've built their website. So they've got 31 pages. Uh, nice. Huge. Wow. We've been um, illustrating on it as well. So there's graphics that we've actually drawn by hand. Lovely. Um, we're putting a plan together to help them further and, and get memberships and they were due to open on the 1st of June but actually little delay just purely because they've got to wait for the government to to, to let everyone out if you like um, yeah 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 but this time's really about uh, the, the planning and stuff and how they're going to market their business and, and that's changed and they're probably going to have a big trailer that drives around and you know they're going to okay. have they're going to probably go to Wooden Hill Coffee and get some um see what their coffee's like potentially using local businesses and nice. what makes them different is they are this could be the largest independent um gym in milton Keynes, and okay you know them i didn't know you knew them yeah, but yeah. the key is you want to buy from people you you know and like and especially if the product's great then everything is quite easy actually and uh so we're, we're helping with those guys that's really cool fantastic yeah and i suppose like you say a new gym opening in milton Keynes, it probably is got to be it sounds terrible to say it probably has got to be the worst time to open like a social place right now and now probably is the best time to get the marketing nailed isn't it really because i mean ultimately you know it we're not going to be in this situation forever and god you know touch wood it won't be that much longer we'll be back normal and everyone will be fighting to get in the gym and stuff and that lot but now's a really trying time isn't it for any business um in general which is why i think now is the best time to up your social media up your marketing yeah. campaigns up all of that lot. And I think those people that do sit on their hands and do nothing and just kind of sulk in the corner and wait for it to be over, I think they're the businesses that will probably not reap the rewards when it all kicks off again. Um, totally agree with that. And I think that they were, open, they were due to open on the 1st of June. Now, we don't know when it will be, but um, the key will be that their messaging's right, that what do people get for their money when it does come out? I think that there's huge opportunities that people will change gyms anyway, because, you know, with my yeah. gym that I go to, they're frozen anyway. So I, I've almost got that choice again to go, right, actually, I might join a new gym. So then if you're out there with your marketing messages and you're on social and you're doing competitions and you're showing people how they can get good results, mm. then actually there's a benefit to doing all of that work right now ready for the the big influx of people wanting to get out of the house yeah totally. do you manage the um the fierce gyms like social and stuff and bits and pieces like that not quite yet because they're, they're they're managing it themselves at the moment because um jess in particular um she's obviously very she's built she's she, she's full-on um 
if you, I'll call her a lab, an athlete. So yeah. she, she's running her own for now because the, the personality um, of her has to come across first. Okay. Um, and then we're, 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 we're in negotiation and talk and see if there's an opportunity Lovely. to help them once they're in their business. Because you know what it's like, Jamie? If you've got to do your social media, your accounts, your banking, look after oh, totally. stuff, yeah, doing totally. their reviews, all of a sudden their time's going to be smaller. Yeah. And so, you know, we're there to, to, to have that chat. And so, yeah, maybe in the future, yeah. Yeah, in fact, I mean, that's a prime example. I mean, normally, I mean, I've always said do video content, do video content. But in hindsight, I don't ever do video content until now. Solely yeah. because it, I always say, right, I'm going to do a video today. And before I know it, it's half six. Everyone's gone. Daniela's ringing saying, didn't we ready in an hour? And I'm thinking, gee, I've got, I haven't done it again today. And you don't have time. And the running of the business is too, it is too much to take care of it all. So I think, again, that's a really good point because right now we're all probably finding the time to do our own bits and pieces on social media and things like that. Yeah. And it's when, when we all pick up again on business, that's when we'll actually, this kind of thing will s- start to slow down because we don't have time to do it. Yeah, so well, again, that's another good thing that you could take over on because you've also got content then to look back on as to how the owner of a business represents that business, I guess, and their personality is shone through and it's keeping that, isn't it? Yeah, and it's not just about, you know, you've, you may have a particular skill set that no one can do at Taylor Walsh. So your time spent on that task is is crucial, and probably managing people is is what you're doing, and and the the background, and it's the same for the guys opening the gym, Paul, Paul and Jess. Jess knows her gym. Paul's probably in the background looking after you know the running, the operations of that, and then they've got the staff internally. But when are they going to do their social media? Yeah. You know, are they staying up at twelve at night time and one o'clock in the morning doing it? Because we've all been there. Um, yeah, totally, and, yeah. there and you can do it. And there's there's no there's no you can't do it. It's there's only a certain amount of hours in the day. And so you know that's where WAC come in and we, we, we put a plan together. Generally with all of our social media um contracts that we have is you have an account manager, you have a WhatsApp group that's direct to you. Uh, we we meet once or twice a month. We lay out our plan, so say we're April now, we'll go April, May, June. We'll assess from May, is it working, is it not working? And then we'll adjust and then go again. And it has to have the business owner or whoever in the marketing team yeah. has to have their input because then it's their message and they're talking as well. And we advise that way through. And then come to May and June, we assess, go again, and then we look at the next 12 weeks. And it works really nicely. And it, you know, it's that kind of, that peace of mind that, that the social is being managed and that yeah. opportunities are still coming through. Yeah, I agree. And again, I think the biggest thing with social that I've found is that um, it's not, it, it's not difficult to do a video like this really and, and put it out there. The problem with doing that is just putting it out there. doesn't work. It needs to be done properly because again, I'm not that knowledgeable when it comes to the actual behind the scenes of social stuff. Cause I would just like, for instance, now I would just hit go and the button and it would go on my own Facebook and say to everyone, check this out. And it actually probably wouldn't go that far, but you guys, there's an art to it, isn't there? And there is actually method to it and how you, I forgot what I even call it now, where you have to get like an algorithm or something, or you do something, don't you, to get to the right people. Yeah, it's key as well. And, and we, we've got clients. So we kind of, we, we advise the amount of posts that you do. Now, if you don't get any comments and you've got no one interacting with your comments, you're just going to drop down the system. Yeah. So you need good content. This will be good content because you, you, everyone loves to hear you talk, chat, Jamie. And <laughs> well. They'll be bored of it very soon. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't think they're going to hit the end of the video or even this bit. But um, the, key, the key is that you are engaging. Um, we, we, we've got Home Ground, which is the YMCA's new cafe as one of our clients. Yeah, that so looks awesome. That just about to open it looks amazing yeah. yeah it looks great we've spent months uh, helping sarah and the team uh, and there they come here we've been there i was there for the launch there was no launch because obviously it was locked down so you know i went to have a look made sure it was all right but the key is that people are engaging in your post now mm. if you think um a coffee shop what do you need to do you need to make the food look good yeah so you want to buy that the coffee's got a great ta- uh, taste great yeah, it's got consistent and it's got to be at the right price. And internally, they've got to serve you in good speed. And is there atmosphere? Do you feel good when you go there? Yeah, and you can't get all of that across on social media. So we can make it all look good. But then when you go and get your coffee from Sarah at the YMCA's home ground, it's got to tick all those boxes and it's got to keep doing that. That's key, right? Yeah, so the, the, you know they're nearly at six hundred Instagram followers and they're not even open. So we look after their social. But if we were to put really bad posts on there, 
yeah. or stuff that wasn't engaging or actually there's not a nice graphic, they might struggle. Now we don't know, you know, what the future holds, but it's about making the message look good. It's about the, the product looking good and, and telling people what they sell in, in essence, really, because mm. there's probably 50 coffee shops in and around Milton Keynes. I uh, guess you go first. Yeah. So you, you've got to have that choice and, and, and make sure that they stand out. And it, you know, we don't post every day because you post every day, people get bored. Yeah, so we, you know, we like to do three, three or four posts a week. Start getting people teased to say, Oh, I like the look at that coffee, or look at that bloomer bread that looks really tasteful with melted cheese. And, and Sarah wouldn't necessarily know that in terms of what, what she's doing, but yeah, we're here to help her create that as well. Um, and it's going to be a really successful place and you know what that, that that cafe is doing is going to support the YMCA as well so it's kind of like a free win for, for everybody really totally yeah so everyone in Milton Keynes should at least go and check it out I think just because of yeah. what they what they do and yeah, the whole new development looks phenomenal what they've done it does yeah really good and, and it was needed you know yeah. the building they had was really run down and it's a great opportunity I, I went there um, it was a really windy day about six weeks ago and um this lorry pulls up and um, they're bringing in the mattresses. They've got 199 rooms for YMCA wow. and they're all, blow, they're all blowing around like kites. But um, <laughs> the, the great message was these guys are getting new beds, kitchens, and it's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to really help people get back on their feet. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Lovely. And I, I love that about the community as well. Um, everyone kind of getting together and what have you. And the YMCA is brilliant for that. But the fact that they've re redone it all now as it is, and they've got these new yes. coffee shops going and things like that. Um, <laughs> It's just going to be a nice place to be, I think, isn't it? I think so. No, I'll be there. I'll be having our meetings there because we, we we want to showcase that as one of our clients, and um, nice. we love we love working with them as well. And I think that's key. You know, like you know, we're likable, hopefully, and you know yeah. they're likable, and so it's about helping them on their journey. And you know, down to the point. Um, my, my background's food as well for, for the, uh, the food industry. So I run um, the Milk King's Food and Leisure Awards yeah, with yeah. the guys at WAC now. And um, Sarah needed help with pricing. And so I, I woke up one night doing some pricing for her. And that's not part of what we do, but we like helping people. And, yeah, lovely. And yeah. that's key, really. So, you know, you'll see me in there supporting. I'll be there every week buying coffee because I am a coffee fan. Do you know what I love about you guys as well, mate, and what I like about you in particular is that um, throughout this meeting here, we've spoke about WAC, obviously, but actually we've spent more time talking about the clients that you're representing. So we've heard loads about the gym, about the coffee place, about nonners, about the YMCA, and I think that kind of reflects as what you what you do and how passionate you are about actually getting your clients' names out there. And I think that's lovely to see. Really, really good to see. Thank you, Jamie. I think that's the key, though, isn't it? Yeah. You know, we, we want nonners to sell more food. We want uh, Wooden Hill to sell more coffee. We want people to go to home ground and, and check it out and have a really cool space to work in. And I suppose the passion, is, there's a lot of independent um, businesses there. Um, yeah. We work for the big corporate ones as well. But actually, as a first div, we, we do like the independent because they're on the start of their journey and we're in the middle of their journey. Like Nonna's, they're seven, I think they're seven years old now. But um, well. yeah, we've done a lot of print and design. I think it's as long as, yeah, I believe so, six, seven years. Um, and, you know, we do a lot of design and print for those guys. And it's it's down to even looking at the, the menu. So you look at the menu and the details in there, and that comes from Damien yeah. and Amanda and, and Jenna. But when you pick the menu up and it's got like a, a Skodex finish and it shines in the sunlight and it, it's really so thick. The quality, it, that make it it's look the quality. Good. And, and it, it, if that reflects with the food and the drink they do, then they're doing their jobs. Then their job is to, to serve you well, make yeah. you feel welcome and um, charge the right price and hopefully people come back and we've got to understand that with them as well. Definitely, yeah. The marketing definitely reflects what they do, isn't it? It just yeah. it extends that quality throughout, start to finish, every aspect of it, from the images you see online to the, the menus you pick up and what have you, they've all got that quality finish and touch to it. So, um, yeah, I think you're right. You, you've managed to maintain their brand and, again, with all the other clients you deal with as well, you they, they show you what they, they start with and you just refine it and just keep it looking as it should not change their identity just really get it across so everyone understands who they are what they do and um yeah i really like that really really like that mate. thank you jamie and we have fun doing it i mean if you yeah. can't have fun at work what's, what's the point absolutely I mean, that's, me. that's me personally i like to have fun while we're doing it absolutely well mate well, thank you so much for today really really appreciate it um again if anyone is looking at doing any rebrands or websites or content or social or 
anything at all, give these guys a shout over at um, We Are Creative. Uh, you've got, what, you pick up messages, I guess, on what, Facebook, Instagram, website? Oh, Jamie, there's so many channels, right? It's everywhere, everywhere. Yeah, I think, I think the, firstly, the website's always key. Um, any of the social, uh, Twitter, Facebook, uh, Instagram, um, anywhere. Don't fax us, because we don't have a fax machine. <laughs> who does who does the one we don't have yeah <laughs> yeah um so web, web address what's the web address then for people to go and find out now yeah so it's whackagency.com so you don't need to put the www in anymore that's that's old school but no. whackagency.com have a look we're always building our own website because it's like anything that um you, you help others before you help yourself but um Absolutely. we've had some really good meetings um uh just in the last few weeks where we're, we're looking after our own shop if you like and then of saying oh actually we didn't realize that we haven't told people we do copywriting so that yeah, yeah. so we did some services we haven't got our own stuff that we're building and uh that's key really but um yeah website first and um if we can help we will fantastic again thank you very much mate um and uh, we'll put your details below anyway so anyone who wants to get hold of you can do and uh, i look forward to catching up with you again soon cheers mate